Hey guys, today um, I'm going to review a book. Today's a book vlog and I'm going to review a book, more than a book, a book series written by Rick Riordan. It's called Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. So it's basically about Greek mythology and stuff. And I've heard that this has uh, 27 books in the same universe, but this series has five. Like there are five series. Um, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, Heroes of Olympus, Kane Chronicles, Trials of Apollo, and Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. So, um, let's start. So, this first tier is five books, and the next year is five books, next five books, next five books. So, basically, five is the number which the author likes. Let's get into the series. So, I really like the covers. So, these are the US, U.S. covers. These are very rare covers. Um, let's start from the first book. It's Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. So, this book is amazing. I read it. It's awesome. Like, really, you get to know more about Greek mythology. Just by reading the books, um, Yes, Kanish, do you want to say something? He says the story to me. So awesome. Yeah, I sell the toys to my brother, and it's awesome. Like, you get... It's not that much hard, like... How to tell? Mm, the English is not that much hard. Um, You know, it's a bit pretty easy. Like, it's a middle-aged book for grades 3 to 6, you know. So the English is easy, and you get to know more about Greek mythology. So you don't know you get you don't need to know Greek mythology to read this. You just learn Greek mythology by reading this. This has many gods. You know, get to know gods and monsters and how the things work. It's just Greek mythology in the modern world in New York. So it's pretty much like Harry Potter. Reviews, yes, reviews. And I see, I just checked it. The covers, when you keep it like that, and the spines, when you keep it on your bookshelf, connect. I'll just show you the connection in the last. Um, in the last, I'll just show you. Next, I'm gonna show you the second book. Awesome. Um, I read this book and not as much as the first book, but it's good. I mean, comparing to the first book, it's not that great. You know, it's a little bit smaller and, you know, it's, a, it's like it's just repeating the first book and, you know, a little bit boring sometimes. The first book, um, I just started the book, so maybe that time it was... Oh, you want to say something to me? Yeah. What? My favorite book is Prince of the Beach. Yes. I'll just show I'll just show you at the end, please, please. Okay. So, um but still it's good. The epic cover. Amazing. So I showed you that connecting and I told I show you, but just to make you believe I'm just gonna show you the connection. Can you see it? Well it's not yet it. There are more connections. I'll just show you at the end. Next is the third book. So I just read half of it and it's pretty awesome. You know, it's the smallest book, but it's not like the second book. It's just a little bit different from the second and the first book. The fact, the storyline plot, it's just a little different and interesting. This third book, it's called The Titan's Curse. It has a pretty good plot and story. The English is good, and then you get to know more about new words. You know, um, if you're new to novels and you just starting um, no picture books and you like novels, um, I think you can start with Percy Jackson before you go to the big books like Harry Potter, because these are a little bit smaller than Harry Potter, and. That's it. That's it. I can give you the reviews of the books. Next, I'm just going to see it. It's the fourth book. It's awesome. It's like, nice. 
favorite book in the world. I don't know why still. I, I just, just... Because this is the monster. And it's eating the pussy Jackson and his friends. So amazing. And I love the maze too. Yes, my brother loves mazes. It's the Battle of the Labyrinth. The name itself has the maze, the same spine. This. I don't have much to talk about this book because I didn't, still didn't read it. But um, I uh, saw outside and they're saying like, this is awesome. The fourth book is the best book in the series. And you get to know more monsters than the first book. And so I'm a little bit eager to read this fourth book. Because I'm seeing a lot of lots of positive reviews about this book. So let's go to the next book. I don't have much to talk about this book. Next is the final book. Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Fifth book, The Last Olympian. The sa I, hey, wait. This is the same horse from here. That's good. And... I see a little monster down here, and uh, the cover is basically nice, very good. The spine, same spine, reviews. It's a little black. Oh, it's black. It's the only thing which is black. And I saw something weird in this book, which the other books don't have. Look at this. Battle map of Manhattan. I think we'll get spoiled if I look at it more. Because I think this is the final book, so it's just a battle map. Oh, what does it mean, the final battle? Why do I want to spoil this thing? So that's it, guys. Next, oh, I forgot to show you the connections. Yes. So let's start. I need to get a different angle for this. I think you can see. Oh, I don't. You see the connections? This is not it, guys. You know, when you keep it in a bookshelf... I'll just show you in my bookshelf, if I keep it, it looks amazing, wait a minute, Kanish can you help me to keep in the bookshelf, I just want to show you how awesome these books art are, and I researched a little more and these are by famous fictional artist John Rocco, wait, uh, uh, you see? Oh shit. Okay, that's it. So I they it's awesome. I mean um I have read the Harry Potter series and next I have read this, but I prefer you guys to you know I think it's glaring. Can you see me now? Yes. Um I think you guys can get to the Percy Jackson series. Because it's a little bit smaller and if you're starting with Harry Potter you might get your hopes down because it's a really big book. And when you start off with smaller books like Geronimo Stilton or um, any other book, you know, chapter books, um, you can next you can get this because if you're more eager in books, you can get this before Harry Potter. Because actually, for me, I got Harry Potter first and then uh, during the fifth book, the largest book, I a little bit, I my hopes down because it was really big and boring. I'm not criticizing Harry Potter, but, you know, as a beginner, as a beginner, it was a little bit hard. So I think you guys, if you're just starting, you can read these books before you get into Harry Potter. I'm not saying Harry Potter is not good. It's just an amazing book, but it's a little bit big for bigger. It's middle age. These books are middle age, but those books are for a little older, but... I started this when I was just 10 years, I mean, just 80 years old. So at that time, I thought, um, for the first four books, I, I, okay, I'm okay with it. But in the fifth book, I, in the middle, I got a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. So I prefer the her, uh, Percy Jackson more. And I'll make a video after I read the next two books, so I can tell you in detail how this is. And next, I need to buy the Heroes of Olympus. They're saying it's very good, emotional. Um, you get to know about more great gods and monsters. Like, boom! I really love Greek monsters and gods 